It was a quiet October afternoon in London. The first year of the 20th century was coming to an end. Traffic was quiet. People were moving leisurely. But on the High Holborn Street, that quietness was to be affected. A bride and groom had a cab accident, a tragicomic scene that was captured by a curious passerby. In the midst of all the commotion, Paul Martin managed to capture the moment in a photograph. A peaceful night on 16 April 1864 in Lorraine, France, Paul Martin was born. The Martin family emigrated to London when Paul was a child because of the Franco-Prussian War and the insurrectionist movement called the Paris Commune. His first job was a good engraver. He became interested in photography at the age of 10 but he did not take it, it seriously until 1884. As Paul grew up, so did his love of photography. In 1892, he bought an unusual camera called the Facile. This camera was a large box that looked like a package wrapped in brown paper, commonly used by detectives. With the camera under his arm, he had the opportunity to take some excellent photographs of London life at the time. Without realizing it, he was one of the pioneers of a new type of photography, street photography or also known as candid photography. Some of his best known works are Porter carrying a basket of shrimps, The Flower Woman at Ludgate Hill Station Market porters carrying boxes of oranges Or the magazine seller All his photographs were taken without the subjects being aware of it As a result, the portraits were spontaneous and natural the subjects on the streets of London were his main focus, but he became even more brilliant and provocative with his holiday photographs. Children watching a puppet show, swimmers, or what was really provocative for the time, couples kissing on the beach. He felt sympathy for the working class and portrayed them on the seashore. In his photographs, everything seems natural, wholesome and fun. This contrasts with the Victorian ideas of depravity and sexual promiscuity, so often associated with the working world. Paul Martin is especially remembered for the night photographs he took in the English capital between 1895 and 1896. This series is known as London by Gaslight. It was for this series that he was awarded the Royal Photographic Society Medal. Martin's photographs have an honest and unpretentious style. Paul said that if he could have had the money, he would have loved to devote himself to pictorialist photography, but as he never had a photographic studio, he chose the people in the street to make them the protagonists of his photographs. Paul Martin died on 7th of July 1944. His work has been widely recognized by the public and critics alike. He was a pioneer of one of the most interesting and real styles of photography. His work is exhibited in both America and England and has been a major influence on many photographers. Music